Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be an enormous empties video. I have over 19 candles and a basket full of wax to talk about. We need to dive in, but I have a Bath & Body Works haul. I have a Scentsy haul. I have a Matt Matthews haul and announcement video. I've been talking about how much I love the Matt Matthews line of candles. He's on TikTok. He is an incredible human being, and his candle line is great. They're getting ready to launch their winter collection. As soon as I have a date for the winter collection is when I will film and post the video, so you have a chance to purchase them early. Well, not early, but you have a chance to hear my thoughts on them before they launch. No, I am not affiliated with them. They sold a sample box. And that sold out in like 10 minutes. And the full sizes of those will be available. So I did just get the sample box today. They're amazing. And as soon as I have more info on that, I will post the video. But anyway, we have 19 candles sitting here that I'm going to give you a little short snippet on why I liked them or didn't and performance wise. And then we will move into the wax. So without further ado, Let's get into it. I think my best plan of action is to start small and work my way up. So I finished a flannel single wick candle. I burned this guy in my bathroom. This is from Bath & Body Works. And the notes on flannel are fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. I love flannel. It is just like the perfect citrusy cologne fragrance. It did burn fine and strong, which... I was surprised. They are going away with the mason jar um, candles and switching to signature after the new year. But this candle I loved. I actually did a three wick as well. This is from last year's collection. Did not have the best luck burning it, but I did just throw it in a candle crock to finish it up. There's nothing left in it, but I did this in my laundry room and this in my bathroom. Love. If you like flannel, I mean, if you like, like, men's cologne scents, you know about flannel. They have it in body care, candles, wallflowers, room spray, hand soap, you name it. It is a great scent. I finished, I actually, when I was decorating for Halloween, I found this in my Halloween collection. Spooky Cider Lane, or previously known as Cider Lane. They did not bring this back this year tragic. Bone-chilling bone bourbon glazed apples, magical maple syrup, and voodoo vanilla. Interesting notes. I actually never looked. It's like the best ooey, gooey caramel apple you've ever smelled. It's a really crisp and tart apple with that gooey brown, like, kettle-cooked kettle caramel. I love Cider Lane, and this was fun to burn during Halloween, but it is finished, and they did not bring it back this year. It is a great scent. I finished a single wick in Sweet Whiskey from the Signature line. You guys, I am not having great luck with the single wick candles. They perform really sooty and really low flames. And I was burning this in my bathroom. I like the scent Sweet Whiskey. Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Red Berries. It was not strong at all. Like, the whole entire burn... It just, I could not smell it. It is this, like, really alcoholic whiskey fragrance with an emphasis on the vanilla. It's a great fragrance, but just didn't perform. All right, so I was burning these in my living room and these in my dining room together. So these are tester candles that I got um, at semi-annual sale. Two Palo Santo and two Palo Santo Vanilla. Now, Palo Santo Vanilla, I actually like more than plain Palo Santo. Palo Santo is great. The notes on it are Palo Santo Wood, Warm Amber, Soft Musk. And it is that woody, fresh, but real cozy Palo Santo Wood fragrance. But the Palo Santo Vanilla is Palo Santo Woody Musk and Tonka Bean. It's just so creamy and delicious. But I burned one of these before, and the same with this one. 
the lowest flames I've ever seen in a candle. Like, these were basically minuscule. One, I trimmed the wicks during, before the first burn. This one, I did not trim the wicks before the first burn. And they both <laughs> got super low flames within the first, the third burn, I think. The first burn was fine on both of them. It trimmed or not trimmed. And then after the third burn, they were just super puny. But it, I, I smelled it. Like, it was a really nice aroma going in my dining room, living room, kitchen area with the Palo Santo vanilla candles and the Plain Palo. But it just, Bath & Waterworks candles are super hit or miss for me. This was a super miss. I couldn't smell these at all. Mountain Teakwood. Now, this smells exactly like Hollister, especially in the room spray. The notes are crisp mountain air, rich teakwood, and a touch of fresh eucalyptus. These didn't burn terribly, but you couldn't smell them at all. When you smell this, though, it instantly smells like you were walking outside of Hollister in the mall, and you got that scent. Bath & Body Works has a scent, Lush has a scent, Abercrombie has a scent, and Hollister has a scent. And this smells just like Hollister, just like the Hollister store. I really like the way that it smells. It just did not perform at all for me. And then I finished totally opposite apple and charcoal. This performed so strong, but the flames were literally like flamethrowers. I mean, these flames, I was burning it for an hour at a time, and the flames were this big, sooting like crazy, massive. So I had to blow them out after an hour. So it actually took me forever to burn through these because the flames were so high. The notes on this are sweet red apple and smoked charcoal. Love the fragrance. I hope they do this again in wallflowers. I have the best luck with the wallflowers of all the Bath & Body Works home products. They are not, obviously not sooty because you're not burning them. And they're pretty consistent. I keep them in the way my apartment is set up. I have like in a huge loft. And when you go down the stairs, there's like a stairwell that has two doors that connect and there's a plug. So I have a wallflower there. And there's a second set of steps to go downstairs to the outside. And there's a plug there with two doors. So I have one there. And then I have one here, like in that second entryway. Typically, I do the same fragrance. Or I'll do ones that are, like, similar to each other, that whenever you walk in, it's great. I actually have Walk in the Woods now and In the Stars, and they actually are beautiful together. And I can smell each of them as soon as I walk in, separately when I open the door. So great performance from the Wallflowers. The scent control, and they're on strong, because I want to be hit in the face when I walk in the door. But anyway, Apple Charcoal, love the fragrance, great throw, but they were literally flamethrowers. I finished, I, I can't even believe I'm reviewing a Harry Slatkin candle on my channel. Again, Homeworks. I got this from TJ Maxx. Everybody was talking about it, and I saw it before because I, I frequent a TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods a couple times a week. It's where most of my decor comes from. I love the stores. And I gander in the candle section. I won't buy DW Home Candles. Those are trash. They never perform well. That sand and fog, no. Like, TJ Maxx candles are pretty terrible for the most part. They're there for a reason. But the Homeworks candles, interesting. I don't know what's going on with this brand. Hot Mess Express. To the point where the lids, he literally makes lids out of, like, plastic now. That's super cheap. So, anyway, everybody was raving about the peanut butter and jelly candle. Peanut butter, raspberry jam. The notes are peanut butter, raspberry jam, caramelized sugar, and vanilla bean. It actually burned pretty well. The last burn got a little sooty because I just let it burn until it was done. It smells more like a salted peanut butter. Not really jammy. Maybe the slightest bit of like that raspberry fruit. But I wouldn't sit there, close my eyes, and smell this and think it was a peanut butter and raspberry jam candle. But it was pleasant. It was real, real rich, peanutty. I liked it. I ended up burning it in my bedroom because I could not smell this in my living room. And it did perform, but it was in my bedroom, which is a small place, small room with the door shut. And I got performance. Otherwise, I couldn't smell it. 
I did get suckered in and purchase the um, pumpkin caramel corn and the glazed gingerbread, which I have down here. I will burn them and try them, but I am in no way affiliated with Homeworks anymore, nor do I want to be. Um, that is a Hot Mess Express brand. And then I finished, talk about perfection, booby, I'm not going to say the word, and there's a little ghost on it. This is the Matt Matthews pumpkin souffle candle that he launched for his Halloween collection. This was so great. It started its life in my bedroom, and it was so overpowering. I actually took it out and burned it in my living room. I burned this one candle in my living room. This Everywhere I went, I could smell this candle. It was a rich, decadent pumpkin bakery. If you like pumpkin, if you like pie crust, this pumpkin souffle candle from Matt Matthews blows you out of the water. Now, they are $30 for a three-wick. They are 17 ounces compared to the 14.5 ounces, which are a Bath & Body Works. They are about the same jar. This one is slightly bigger, but the soy wax is more dense than a pair of soy blend. I'm burning these wine cellars from last candle day. You'll see the review once it's finished. But, um, and they just burn forever, and they burn so clean, so well. 100% soy non-toxic, clean fragrance oils. There's actually some scents. They were doing a Facebook Live where they wanted to try, like they want like a Fruit Loops, but the fragrance oil isn't clean, so they won't launch them. They're pet safe, all this. Like his candles are really great. I was shocked because I was like, oh, it's just like a chuchki, like cute label brand to like make some money. But no, they're actually really great candles. And this scent, was so great. I would repurchase it if you can. And when he does restocks, they sell so fast. All right, Kringle. I These are all of the couple years ago, except for one. Yes, except for one. Oh, two. These two were from last year. These other three are from two years ago that had the black wax. I literally just burned these. I was not really paying attention. So I'm, I, I have so many Halloween candles from Kringle. I have Sleepy Hollow. This was nice. This was like a real, real cinnamon forward pumpkin. I finished Witch's Cauldron. I'm in the minority. I don't really care for this. This is way, way too earthy and patchouli for me. These were all really strong. Um, it's alive. I burned this in my office. It's like a, like a, like a real real white floral. A pump, I, I, hot take, I love Kringle. Do not get me wrong. But the Halloween scents just aren't for me. Like, I've noticed. Like, they're very conceptual. They're very dark and deep. There's a few that really, like, hit home for me. Like the one, I can't think of the name. It has the balloon. It's the one that's like a fried pastry. That's amazing. But... I like Kringle's signature line. They're actually doing a buy two, get two right now on Christmas candles, and I, I bought eight. You don't need my affiliate code, though. You can just use them and get the buy two, get two free. So there will be a haul. Some that I had before, some new, some that I have in a three-wick that I wanted more of, one I have in a two-wick jar from last year that I wanted a double of. So yeah, I got eight. Super happy. But the Halloween, it's just not my favorite. Graveyard Night. This was another, like, a rich, smoky pumpkin. I just feel like they all start to smell the same because they're all those deep pumpkin spice notes. And then a Vampira. Now, this freaked me out. I also don't like scary things. Like, I'm into cute Halloween, and this is a little too dark for me. But this was nice. This was, like, a real fruity, like, it gives me, like, red currant and raspberry vibes. It was real bright and fruity. I just turned the label this way when I burned it, and... That was great. And it actually is the new translucent jar, which was really pretty. But I was happy that I finished five Halloween candles. I have like probably 50 more to go. I'm telling you, I have so many Halloween candles from Kringle to burn through. So that was it for candles. I'm actually going to go and recycle these outside, clear it out, and make room for wax. So with a, with a flip of a switch... We're back with the wax. So I have a lot of sensi here. I'm just going to do a little quick brief what I thought. 
If there's two, which we'll start with, I did it in the living room. If it's one, I either did it in my bedroom or the office. First one, two Harvest Blessings. I don't know the scent descriptions, but this was good. It was like an apple-y, pumpkin, spice, cinnamon. I feel like, and this is not just Scentsy, this is with like every fragrance, in just every fragrance world candle brand for the fall. It gets to be pretty repetitive. So it has to be really unique and stand out for me to be like, wow, that's great. And a lot don't, which is fine. It actually is better for me because if I don't really love it, good. No club. Easy. Don't have to buy it again. But if I'm like, wow, that's amazing, like that's when I add it to my club. So I like when I don't like things because then it makes the decision easier. This was okay. It didn't wow me. I took this out of my club. I have more, and I was super disappointed. Cranberry Muffin from last Bring Back to Bring Back My Bars Ago. I love it on cold. It's like this real tart, rich cranberry with like a batter note. Not baked muffin, more like the cranberry muffin batter. But I didn't get any performance from it, and it made me really, really sad because I have... No air on, no windows open, just stagnant air. And typically, wax performs the best that way. I didn't get anything from that. I did Ghostly Greetings, two of these on Halloween. It's actually still going now. I know it's November 5th, and you're like, there's no way, 6th. There's no way that it's still performing, but I actually haven't used the warmers a lot lately. I've been burning a lot more candles because it's been super cold at night, and just having candles lit is super exciting. But the Ghostly Greetings is interesting. It's like a dark, rich, plum, spiced scent. A lot of people don't like it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. This one. No. Pumpkin Cashmere. Uh-uh. This? Oh, I can't. It, like, actually doesn't make my stomach feel well when I smell it. It has just an odd undertone that is not pumpkin or cashmere. And I don't know what it is, but it smells like edible food that I don't like to eat. But I don't know what it is. Huckleberry apple pie. This was amazing. I loved it. I love Sensi's Huckleberry. And the sweet tart Huckleberry with the fresh, crisp apple. And there's really no pie crust note, but it was beautiful. It was real fresh, real clean, lasted all day. This is another one I removed from my club. They got very oily. This was from Last Harvest Collection, which is wild for fall. Oh, it is so strong. Like this actually oh, like kind of made me nauseous. It was so strong. And Fall Into Love this year, 10 out of 10, love. But Wild for a Fall, no. Too strong. Surprisingly, really enjoyed Palo Santo and Cinnamon. This is nice. This smells like Kirkland's, like when you walk into a Kirkland's. But it also smells like an older gentleman's aftershave, which is also pleasant. Real sophisticated, not club-worthy, but I might pick up a couple more bars to add to the rotation. It's different than anything Sensi's done before, which is what I like. That's another thing that's like a club contender for me or repurchase is, is it different? Can I get this anywhere else? Or is it something that like lasts a long time? Like there's a lot of checks that it has to check off if it's in my club. And this is really nice. It's unique. I don't think it's a club worthy though. Autumn Hearth. This is very different as well, but it's also really enjoyable. It's like apple. Is there Tonka in here? There's a very interesting woody note in the background. I liked it. It didn't give me craft store vibes like I thought it would, but it's still enjoyable. Mm -hmm. It's in my club because I want to give it another shot. <laughs> Three thumbs up. Everybody says this is like a spiced pumpkin bread, and I was so excited for it. 
it kind of smells like stuffing in a way. Like the bready herbal note that you get when stuffing is in the oven. Does anybody else get a stuffing or a Thanksgiving vibe from this? And it did on warm too. It's kind of strange. I want to try it again. I kind of want to get two bars and just let them sit for like a year and see if those notes develop. I know Elizabeth Quinn from Elizabeth Scenes and Scents said that actually happened to her with Cran Apple Crumble, which is also one I don't really care for. And I have mine sitting so I can try it. All right, let's do ones that were just not enjoyable to me. And then we will go into the ones I loved. Plum and White Woods. I actually did this a few different times in my bathroom. I actually alternated between these two. Plum and White Woods and Fuzzy Blanket. I did two cubes at a time in my bathroom. And anytime I couldn't smell it again, I just switched it out. Plum and White Woods is nice. I was expecting it to not be as perfumey as it is. And Fuzzy Blanket is a little too laundry for me. It doesn't smell like, like a linen laundry, but it's like a fabric softener laundry. And Fluffy Fleece has my heart where this does not. I know. This is a hot take. I did this in my bedroom. It did not even make it the entire day. I was off. I didn't have anything to do. I was just watching TV, catching up on internet, um, internet work, comments on YouTube, schoolwork. All that stuff. Cashmere leaves. Every time I walked into my bedroom, I was like, what is that? And it was this. And I go, there's no way everybody loves this. How do I not like it? I don't. It kind of smelled like a burnt caramel apple. Like there was a note in the caramel apple that I just did not care for. And it makes me really sad because everybody loves it. I am going to order another bar. I'm going to give it another chance. But currently, as of now, with my melt, I did not like cashmere leaves. Midnight Mahogany. This was fine. This was just a pleasant bar. I did it in my office. It was cleaner than I expected. I expected it to be a lot more masculine, a lot more warm. But it was a lot more clean and fresh, which kind of threw me for a loop. But I enjoyed it. I actually really enjoyed it. So I don't know if it'll be a repurchase, but I quite enjoyed that one. Um, Fall Feeling. Is this the one that smells like leaves? Yes, yeah, so this smells just like leaves from Bath and Body Works. Did it in my bedroom. Felt the exact same the whole way. Leaves is one from Bath and Body Works that I like it for a short duration and then I'm over it. Forever Fall. This is one I really wanted to love too. And I just didn't. The pumpkin note kind of turned me off. And I was see, was it Ashley P? Somebody's video. I love fall. I love looking at pumpkins. I love eating pumpkin flavored things. But I feel like I'm leaning more towards apple than I am pumpkin. And she said that she's team apple. And I can feel that. I don't know if that's going to stay because I love pumpkin. I love the idea of pumpkin. But the pumpkin scents just have not been hitting me this year like apples have. And speaking of apples, this frosted cedar. Oh, my gosh. I love. I did this in my bedroom. Like, I'm smelling this. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's my bedroom. This could be my signature bedroom scent. It is so yummy. It is apple, cedarwood, and something else. I don't know. It is so good. It transformed. Between this and Fall Into Love, those are like my new favorites of the year. Like, they're so good. I can't get over it. And this frosted cedar is that. It's so fresh. And that crisp apple... And I think the reason why I feel like the cedar wood is so good for the bedroom is because, like, cedar closets and such. This is amazing. This is going in my club. I'm actually doing a little bit of a restructure of my club. I have a quarterly club that I keep pushing. I use that Sensi hack. I keep pushing it back because I just don't want to commit to spending that much on it. But I kind of want to do a monthly club of, like, two bars each of, like, five cents that I know I love and I want to melt regularly. And this and Fall Into Love... 
are totally it for me. This was totally interesting. Golden Garland. The entire time it melted in my bedroom, I was like, is this not Autumn Road Trip? An Autumn Road Trip is in the catalog, and this is a new release. I just purchased two bars of Autumn Road Trip. I, I did haul it last time. The entire time it was in my bedroom, couple days, I was like, this literally, if you told me I was melting Autumn Road Trip in my bedroom, I would say, yeah, you are. Yeah, that's Autumn Road Trip. So do I want Golden Garland in my club? Or do I want to put Autumn Road Trip in my club when the catalog ends? We're going to melt Autumn Road Trip later and see what I think. These are these are another two cranberry candy cane. I fully transitioned to Christmas in my house as far as decorations go. Still melting a little bit of fall, but I have been melting a lot of Christmas. And this, I put the fragrance flower in my bathroom, the poinsettia. And I added one cube of this to the plug-in. This is so good. And I did the rest of my office. That's how I finished the whole clam. This is so good. This is old school Yankee Candle Cranberry Candy Cane. They had a cranberry candy cane scent. And it smells just like it. It is crisp, fresh peppermint with tart candy cane. And it goes for days and days. It is so holiday. It is so beautiful. This is going in my club for sure. I love. But it's also one I would have no desire to melt any other time of the year but Christmas, but November, December. So I don't need a ton of it, but I would like to stock up so I have it when it is the holiday time. And I have this going now. This is on day three in my bedroom. Cranberry and cardamom. I actually just placed a one-time club order. I'm probably not going to film it. I got a brick of very snowy spruce, a brick of Christmas Cottage, two bars of cranberry and cardamom, and two bars of uh, cranberry candy cane, and then I used my half off to get a new air purifier filter. So nothing too exciting, but I needed more of both. This, so good. I don't necessarily get the cardamom like I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like a really deep, rich cardamom, but that cranberry shines through and it is beautiful. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. It's a very fruity, tart cranberry that lasts a long time. I love cranberry. I'm team cranberry when it comes to holiday fragrances over pine. I love cranberry, and I love this. And that was it. A half an hour. Not too, too bad, but let me know. Have you been melting anything recently that you're loving? I will say, let me see if I can do this without knocking them over. This, I talked about this earlier. This Bath & Body Works candle holder is so beautiful. When I finish these candles, Kringle Mercury Glass candles are going on there. And I think it's going to be beautiful. And having the red and green ornament, and then I have a doble on my dining room table that is red and green ornaments. So pretty. I am ready for holiday. But again, let me know what you guys have been melting or warming. All the things. And... Frosted cedar, cranberry cardamom, and cranberry candy cane. Highlights. Absolute highlights of the month and a half since I did the last video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.